All right. Today I'm going to show you how to use this Slime Deluxe Tire Plug Kit uh, that we got to repair a tire puncture. We have a lawnmower that has a, had a piece of wire in the tire and we're going to uh, use this to plug that hole because now the tire is flat. Alright, so we're going to start by showing you what all is in this package. Alright, so we have this little tool here This is going to be used to uh, clean out the puncture hole. It's just kind of a raspy uh, thing. We'll push that through the hole, run it up and down a couple times, and that will uh, make sure the hole is uh, set to receive the adhesive. We have these little strips of, uh, they're almost like pieces of felt embedded with tar, uh, or cloth embedded with tar, and um, we're going to use this tool uh, to put one of those pieces in. We're going to push that into the hole um, after we, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to we're going to coat these things here with this uh, adhesive uh, rubber cement and then we're going to put it through this hole and this needle put it into the hole in the tire pull it out um, and cut off the excess and our hole should be plugged all right so here's our uh, horse that we need to fix uh, i say it's a horse because if you look right there on the side it says it's a horse so um, we ran over a piece of wire and poked through the tire and uh, that tire is now flat. So we've got the air compressor out here and uh, put some air in there so that we uh, have that tire charged so that we can spray it with this handy dandy uh, container of soapy water. And uh, when we spray that there, the air is going to be leaking out and it's going to make bubbles. And uh, that's how we're going to find our, find our hole. You can see that bubble there uh, that's growing. So we have found the hole. So we're going to repair that by first taking this tool and poking it into the hole. You can, and you can see our, if we pop our bubble, more bubbles show up there. So we can tell our hole is, is right in there. See all those bubbles. So we're going to push this in and uh, make sure that that hole is nice and clean. Put that back and forth a little bit. Of course, now we can really tell where the hole is at because we can hear it hissing. So we're going to take one of these little uh, strips. Like I said, they're kind of like a uh, kind of like pieces of cloth or something, a rubbery type material that's been impregnated with tar or rubber or something, probably rubber. And we're going to take this rubber cement right here and put some of this on it. After we also use this tool to poke a little hole in the rubber cement container, there we go. So we're going to smear some of this on here. Make sure that's coated. And we're going to take this tool, which looks like a giant sewing needle, end, and we're going to push that through here. Easier said than done. Once we get it started, it's not too terribly bad. I probably should have put this through before I put the rubber cement on there. But I think it's going to be alright. Alright, so we got that halfway through. We're now going to take this, poke it into the hole, and, uh, and then before it's about two-thirds of the way through there, pull it back out uh, quickly, and uh, hopefully it should stay in there. Because this has a little slit in the bottom, so when you pull hard, um, these things will open up a little bit and let go of that that plug, and hopefully we'll have a plug tire. Alright, so our hole is right here. We're going to push this in there. It takes a good amount of force. I got about two-thirds of the way through there. We don't want to twist or anything. We just want to pull this out quickly, and you'll see 
this part here opened up and let go of the plug. So now we get this plug sticking out there and we're just going to take some uh, dikes or wire cutters and uh, clip those off and then we'll put some more air in the tire see if it doesn't leak. So here we have our pair of dikes or wire cutters and we're just going to sneak up on these little guys here, cut them. Off even with the treads. They're a little tougher than I was expecting. Alright, now we'll put some uh, air back in there and hopefully it'll hold. Alright, as you can tell by the hissing of the air compressor, we have uh, charged that back up, put some air in the tire, and uh, the horse is now good and new. Now we have a tire that's full of air and it's not leaking anymore. So that's how you fix a flat on a horse.